There is little evidence to support the effectiveness of most substances that we consider natural aphrodisiacs. It is true that many of the aphrodisiacs have historically been associated with virility, not only do not cause any positive effects in our sexual relationships, but they could be toxic. This is the case of the Spanish fly, which was used as a kind of natural Viagra for centuries, since its peak caused the spontaneous erection of the penis, but which fell into disuse from the 17th century as a result of an epidemic of poisonings. Sad is the myth of the rhinoceros horn, considered in China as an aphrodisiac and a medicinal remedy. It has contributed to the extinction of the animal. Foods such as coffee, alcohol, and chocolate, these foods can cause a physiological effects that lead to more active sex life. However, various investigations have tried to explain where the good sexual reputation of these foods or products comes from and to deny or confirm it. Now ginseng, panics ginseng, and red ginseng, which is mainly produced in Korea, have long served to successfully treat erectile dysfunction problems. This is stated in the research published in the Food Research International. In a previous study, 45 men with erection problems took 900 milligrams of ginseng three times a day. Two months later, they had significant improvement in their sexual potency compared to the control group. In addition, it is an infusion that increases nitrous oxide production, a chemical that relaxes the arteries in the penis. This allows greater blood flow. It is an indole alkaloid obtained from the bark of a Central African tree. It has long been used successfully as a treatment for sexual dysfunction in depressed patients using serotonin reuptake inhibitors. However, its side effects are potentially dangerous. It can appear with less than half a milligram consumed. For years it was approved by the American FDA Food and Drug Administration. Currently it can be acquired only after being prescribed by a doctor. Since it can be allowed to be prescribed at such a low rate, it probably does not have aphrodisiac effects. Now coffee. It is not an aphrodisiac in the strict sense, but as a good stimulant, that it is. It can help us get going, either in front of a New York day at work, challenge for which we have to be very focused, or performing in bed. Old research conducted at the University of Michigan in the early 1990s showed that coffee and no tobacco or alcohol determined the increase in a couple's sexual relations frequency. Specifically, 62% of women who drank coffee defined themselves as sexually active, compared to 38% of them who did not. Chocolate. Although no studies have been shown that cocoa increases sexual desire, it is a food that increases the release of endorphins. This improves our mood, something that ultimately can affect our predisposition to have sex. In addition, chocolate has large amounts of FEA. This is a hormone that is produced in large quantities when we are in love. Maybe a good shortcut to recover our sexual energy. And for our last aphrodisiac, Jingo. Contrary to what happens with other products on the list, the Jingo, or Tree of the Forty Shields, was never recognized as an aphrodisiac until research was published in the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy. They discovered a close link between the cure of sexual dysfunction caused by antidepressants and this plant. Something that positively affected 76% of the men and 91% of the women. Not all are advantages. It can cause gastrointestinal problems, headaches, nervous system excitement. So these are some things to consider. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave your comments in the comment box. We'd love to hear your thoughts 
and any questions you may have. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe so you can receive all different types of videos from the Complete Herbal Guide, such as relationships, sex, marriage, health, do-it-yourself, recipes, fitness, exercise, and how to heal your body naturally. So before you go, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thank you.